Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're on a great day so far. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to go from private third class to captain in your grand company ranks. The captain is the highest that we can go as of right now. Now, a few things that I recommend doing before you start getting promoted in your grand company. Number one, get yourself to level 50. This will unlock flying, number one. It makes things so much easier to do. Two, you'll have a high level job to unsync a couple dungeons that you're going to be needing. And three, there's two dungeons that you need to do that are close to level 50. That's Orin Vale and Dismile Darkhold. Plus, having a level 50 job, you'll be able to unsync the dungeons that you need to complete your hunting log, which is something you need to do to get promoted in your grand company. Now, it does not matter which grand company you choose, everything is going to be the same. You can switch once you get to the second lieutenant rank. But you're going to have to rank up from the beginning all over again, but the one that you leave, you'll still have your rank if you come back to it. All of the grand companies have the same items, except for the gear and the housing items will be different depending on the grand company that you chose. Also, make sure you unlock the challenge log and your crafters and gatherers. You don't have to be a crafter or a gatherer, just buy everything off the market board. Then you pass them in. By doing so, the challenge log, which you're going to be needing later on down the road, you'll be completing your grand company challenge log, which is basically turning in five items and then another five items. So doing your crafters and then your gatherers will complete this, giving you 2,000 grand company seals, which you're going to be using to apply for a promotion. Alright, so I am a part of the Immortal Flames, so this is where we're going to be getting. Now, I already have a crap ton of Grand Company Seals because I ended up leveling up my crafters a bit, as you can see here. So, I got a bunch of them from the challenge log and of course leveling them up. So, once you join your Grand Company, you'll get your hunting log and then you go to the personnel officer and then you go to apply for a promotion. You are going to be needing to get the second lieutenant to unlock housing. So there's another reason to do so. So when you go to apply for promotion, they'll give you what you need to get promoted. So you need to pass in 2,000 Grand Company Seals. Since I have 6,807, we can promote. So I'm now Flame Private Second Class. So, when you join your grand company, like I said, your hunting log will be unlocked. So you need to do book one, and then at a certain level, or rank, which is the sergeant third class, you'll get rank two. Now, each mob you have to kill will have the zone you have to go to and the area which you'll find them. You'll have to unlock hollow tally to do these three here. Okay, um, I did this on another alt for Gridania, and these ones were not there. They were a different mob that we had to kill. So certain grand companies will require certain mobs. So for the flames, it requires the two first two bosses in Holotali, and then one of these guys, which is like the first one you find in the dungeon. All right, so some of these will be different depending on which one you go to. Alright, so because I still have a crap ton of Grand Company Seals, I'm going to apply for another promotion. For you starting out, do your hunting log first to get the Grand Company Seals that you need. So I'm going to get promoted a second time for Private First Class. And unfortunately now I need uh, 2,200 Grand Company Seals to get my next promotion. The other way of getting Grand Company Seals is through Fates. Those are the little uh, blue icons on the map. They will give you a little bit of Grand Company Seals, but if you do more and more and more, you'll gain higher amounts of Grand Company Seals depending on what level you're at. If you go to, let's see here, Outer Lenosha, I believe it is. Right here, will be one fate 
and then the other fate would be right here. These two ping pong between each other. So once you finish this one, this one over here will spawn, and then you finish that one, over here will spawn. These will be back to back, and it takes about a couple seconds for them to, you know, pop. So by having a level 50 job, you guys can go from here to here, back and forth, until you get enough Grand Company Seal for your next promotion. So there's a little bit of a tip for you guys doing fates. Next thing you can do is unlock PvP. This is going to be at level 30. Talk to the commander of your Grand Company, a pup no longer, and you'll get 1438 Grand Company Seals. So let's go ahead and unlock that now. So we need to go to the Wolves' Den, and this is going to be the Moribay Docks. Alright, so when we get there, we will continue. Alright guys, so here we are at Moribay Docks. So from the Crystal, come over here. Talk to the Skipper. Make sure you attune to the Wolves' Den Aetherite. And then come into the boat. And then talk to the storm captain over here. And there you go. Free 1438 seals. And the wolf's den has not been unlocked. Alright, so now... I need another 800. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you guys the hunting log. So I need to find, number one, a Almoja hunter, which is going to be the East Dandelion in the Sand Gate. This is going to be in Camp Drybone. Alright guys, so here we are in Camp Drybone. We're over at the Almoja encampment. This is X18.9, Y20.1. So in your hunting log, like I said, you'll have the hunt with the marker over their head. This indicates the hunt you need to kill. So let's go ahead and kill the Almoja. Your chat log will let you know how many you killed, so I need to kill two more. So let's go into the encampment and find some more. I'm a little high level, like the aggro more than one, but there you go. So let me find one more. And then when you complete it, that happens. Alright, so we ended up getting 240 Grand Company Seals. Now, let me go and unlock the Lev Quests, and I'll show you guys where to do that. So I'm going to head over to... Hold on, and I'll show you guys where to unlock the love quests. Alright guys, so here we are in the Adventurer's Guild. So you want to talk to your Lev Me NPC and do the quest Levs of wherever you start. Alright, so I need to go to Horizon. This is going to be uh, West Then Land for me. So for those of you who already know about this, you guys can skip this part. Alright, so here we are in Horizon, and this is where having a level 50 job can really come in handy. So we're going to end up murdering this love quest. Alright, so now we need to go to the green area. So we're just going to fly over here. Alright, so now that we're in the area, what we want to do is go into the journal, look for the love quest, initiate, and then jack up the difficulty by four levels. So instead of doing a level 10 love quest, we're doing a level 14. But since I'm level 52, we get penalized for being overpowered. So we need to kill the pious over here. And with a one shot, of course. And then we go back to the Lev Me NPC to collect our reward, and this should unlock the Lev quests from now on. 
So like I said, you get one for difficulty and speed. And then of course you get a bonus for doing it for the very first time. And love quests are now unlocked. So now we can do love quests that we have available to us, which means we're also gonna do the Grand Company ones as well. So I'm gonna boost over to Camp Drybone and I will show you guys where to find the love quest giver, just in case you guys want to do this for Grand Company seals. All right guys, so here we are in Camp Drybone next to the Flame Sergeant for the Immortal Flames Grand Company Love Quest Giver. It's right across from the Aetherite. Now Hawthorne Hut is for Gridania, and more Bay Docks would be for Limsa Lamensa. So for the Immortal Flames, we have a Heart of Flame. The third prize is that you're slain. These two are very easy to do. And I think the Burning Reason is the other one. But we're going to take these two here. All right, so we're going to come up here to the green area. So this one's the Heart of Flame. Dismount, go into the journal, Heart of Flame, initiate, jack it up to plus four difficulty, even though I'm already way above that. And we just end up killing this NPC here. Simple as that. Look at that. That's how easy it is if you're jacked up on levels. So we're going to come over here to the next one. So the left quest, I would say that it should be done last if you're really desperate for seals. So this one we have to find the imps that are glamoured to be billy goats. And occasionally you'll find a treasure chest and maybe a hunt rank. Which is basically just a rare monster in these fates of oh, love quests. So this one was a dud because it didn't change. So we go to the next one. There it is. So the glamour will dissipate then you kill it. Otherwise, you would poke the sprites to get what you need to, you know, show who who's what. But there's no point where you can just kill everything. One, two, three. There he is. And there we go. So those are the two easiest ones I would recommend doing. So we head back and then we should get a chunk of Grand Company Seals. So Grand Company Enlistment Bonus, Difficulty Bonus, Speed Bonus. So we get 173 and then 50 for the bonus and the completion for the very first time. Next one, 173 and 58 again. There you go. So if you are going to be spamming your love quests, which I highly don't recommend doing because you can use those for your crafters and gatherers, you can do this for Grand Company Seals as well if you have no other resources. All right, guys. So we're back at my Grand Company. I have my 4,000 seals. I did everything in my hunting log except for the dungeon, which I'm going to show you guys where to find that. But first, let's get our promotion. All right, so we're now Flame Corporal. Now remember, because I already had a crap ton of seals to start with, this is not gonna go as fast for you guys if you are working with nothing. All right, so what we're gonna do is go into Vesper Bay, and we are going to unlock Halatali, and also pick up the other ones. So talk to Nedric Ironheart. He's going to be at X 12.0, Y 14.3. Accept the quest, Halo Halatali, Braving New Depths. Going for gold, you don't really have to do it, but pick it up anyway. Because your grand company is going to give you the quest to unlock that, but this one will give you 
extra rewards. Talk to the flame private. Taking the bronze pieces since I don't need the gear. And the Holotali has now been unlocked. So I need to kill boss number one, boss number two, and then one mob in here. And then I'm done with book number one. All right, so I'll see you guys when I have finished my hunting log in Holotali. All right, guys, so we are done. My hunting log is all set and done. But unfortunately, I am still short of my next promotion. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing my challenge log for the Grand Company. Ultimately, what I'm going to have to do, see all these items here. I'm going to have to go on the market board, find all the items, and then pass them into my Grand Company for the seals, which will ultimately complete my challenge for my challenge log. I have 17 minutes to do this before the resets, so I'll see you guys when I get all the items. Alright guys, I'm back, so I bought everything off the market board. Most of it was pretty cheap. Alright, so we're going to undertake provision supply, so let's pass all these in. If you pass them in high quality, you'll get bonus seals. Alright, and if they're starred, you'll get triple the amount. So in this case... Well, in, case it's, in this case, I'm getting 230 baht because it's not high quality. I'm getting less, but... Not everything was high quality on the market board. So this is going to complete challenge number one. This is my extra thousand seals. And there's the other challenge. All right, so I got 7,157 now, thanks to my turn ends and my hunting log. So apply for a promotion. And now I need 5,000, which I have more than enough. Let's promote. And now I'm a sergeant third class, which means the second log for the hunt has been unlocked. And we get new Grand Company Love Quests. Alright. So next is going to be the Sunken Temple of Karn was for Gridania. But we need to unlock Cutter's Cry for Immortal Flames. Okay. So, Cutter's Cry, luckily for us, is in Ulda. So, we're going to head over to the Sapphire Avenue, and I'll show you guys where to unlock Cutter's Cry. Alright guys, so here we are in the Sapphire Avenue. We're going to be undoing Dishonor Before Death at level 38. Talked to Zabold. Alright, next we have to go to Central Thanalan at X15.9, Y14.1 and to unlock Cutter's Cry. Alright guys, so here we are in Central Thanalan, so let's go ahead and examine the destination, put down the lily. Talk to the NPC here. Take our prize, and there you go. So for me, I have to kill a sand bat, a salvo tender, and then the first boss. All right, so I'll see you guys when I'm done. All right, so here we are in South Thanalan, and now we need to come over to the east area to the Sunken Temple of Karn to unlock it. So unlike the flames, Gordania and Limsa Lominsa Grand Companies will require you to do the Sunken Temple. 
One requires the Temple Guardian, which is the second boss, and one requires the first boss. I think Limsa requires the first, and Gridania requires the second boss. We talk to the Lalafell here, right outside the Temple of Karn. And that is how you unlock this side dungeon. Alright. So for those of you who need this one, this is how you unlock the Sunken Temple. Now one more tip before we continue on with the loving process. If you are out of options, like you are done with your hunting log, you have done your Grand Company Tournament for your crafters and your gatherers, you don't have any left quests or you want to save your left quests for crafters and gatherers, and fate farming is a little bit too tedious for you, there is one more option that you guys can do to get Grand Company Seals. Under the Duty Finder, you have your leveling roulette, and then when you do the Guild Hest roulette, or you unlock your Guild Hests, which are going to be right next to the NPC where you unlock Love Quest to begin with, you are granted Grand Company Seals. Now, the top portion is the once per day, reward but the adventure in need will always be there regardless if you completed the duty for the very first time okay the adventure in need can be confirmed in the right side menu or the left side menu or the icon next to the roulette so having one tank one healer and rarely one dps you will be able to take advantage of the adventure in need level up while you're doing it plus getting your grand company seals in the process the bonus in the venture need will scale based on the level that you are at. So I am on my level 52 Black Mage, and I have 2,184 for adventure need. So if I switch down to a lesser job, my pugilist at level 12, you'll see here that the adventure need bonus is 504. That's still a lot for adventure need at level 12. So it does scale based on your level. All right, so I'm gonna go and continue on finishing my hunt log. I'm gonna need the Grand Company Seals for it. And then we will get promoted because I think I need six or 7,000 for the next upgrade. And this is where we're gonna be unlocking the expert deliveries, which is gonna make Grand Company Seal farming so much easier to get those last few ranks. All right, so I'll see you guys when I finish my book. Okay guys, so I'm back. I just finished my hunting log. So number two is done. So now let's go for a promotion. We needed 6,000 Grand Country Seals. So now we are second sergeant, or sergeant in second class. Now expert deliveries have now been unlocked. This is where expert deliveries will come in handy from now on. So basically, any dungeon gear that you get, or any kind of green crafted or blue crafted gear that we can make can be delivered in expert deliveries up here you want to do is hide gear set so you don't accidentally give the gear that you're wearing so then what we can do is pass in all the gear that we got into the dungeons this is why it's so important to get a level 50 job so we can unsync dungeons to get the gear for all for yourself so we're going to pass in a couple of these items here to get what I need for my next promotion. So 6,000 was what was required before. So I think around 7 is going to be the next one. But I'm going to pass all this stuff in anywhere to get 8,000. Alright. Alright, so we need 7,000 for the next one. So let's go ahead and promote. So now we are first class. Now I believe this is where we now need to talk to your commander in your grand company. Shadows uncast. This is where we need to do this mile dark hold. All right, again, this is going to be a high level 40 dungeon. This is why I recommend getting yourself to 50. So now we need to go to the Corthorn Central Highlands. So from the Aetherite, you go straight down and then go west. All right, so let's get to Corthus and I'll show you guys where to unlock the dungeon. Or what you can do is go to Mordona and take it the easy route. All right, so here we are in the Corthus Central Highlands. So if you're going from the Aetherite here, like I said, you can just go 
south, and then the west. If you're coming from Ardona, which is down here, then you come straight east. Now the quest on the left there is for the Orm Vale, which we will unlock after we do the Dismile Darkhold quest. So this one I cannot unsync at my item level, so I'm going to have to go to the Duty Finder for this one. So talk to this NPC here, and this should unlock this mild dark hold. All right, so we need to complete this and also have the amount of Grand Company seals to get promoted again. So I'll see you guys when I'm out. All right, so I just finished the dungeon. As you can see in my chat log, the dungeon has ended. So you come back to your Grand Company, talk to your commander, and then finish your quest. All right, so the next one, you're going to need book number two of your hunting log done, and you need 8,000 Grand Company seals. So I have a couple of items that I can turn in for Grand Company seals. I probably won't have enough, but we'll find out how much I have left. All right, so now we got our 8,000 Grand Company seals. Upgrade again. So we're now our Chief Flame Sergeant. So now we have access to more Grand Company Lubs. So I believe that is the last one. So I think we can start doing Grand Company Lubs in Mordona and of course the Corthus Central Highlands. All right, so after going to that rank, we now need to talk to our commander again, gilding the billows, which we are gonna be going into Orm Vale. So remember that side dungeon I showed you guys on the way to this mile? Well, that's where we have to go for Orm Vale. So I'll see you guys when I get to Corthen Central Highlands. All right, guys, so here we are, right next to the Mordona entrance. So we need to talk to him twice because we picked it up with Nedric and the Grand Company. So this is going to be from Nedric. And then this is going to be from the Grand Company. All right. So now Orm Vale is not accessible. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did with Dismile Darkhold. Complete the Orm Vale. Grab all the loot after the dungeon is complete. In case anybody didn't go for it. And then we will continue to see what we need for Grand Company Seals for our next promotion. And then after this is going to be the squadron section, which I'm going to be using a different character to get through all of that. All right. So see you guys when I'm done with Orm Vale. All right, guys. So we're back. We just finished Orm Vale. I just put up a party finder and somebody helped me unsync it. So shout out to the summoner who helped me. So we're going to pass this in and get our 1366 seals. Come back to the officer. Promotion. So now we need 9,000. So let's go ahead and start passing in all this loot that I still have left over. So this might take a little while, so I'll see you guys when I'm done passing all this in. There's a faster way to get your Grand Company seals when you get extra deliveries. So I ended up going to the market board and I ended up buying these Griffin skin wristbands, which were pretty cheap. And that ended up getting 403 Grand Company Seals. So I ended up passing those in. And I ended up getting my 9,000 Grand Company Seals. Alright, so let's go for that promotion. Alright, so we have a second Flame Lieutenant. Which means third book of the Hunting Log unlocked. We have housing able to be unlocked. And we now can transfer to another Grand Company if we like. All right, so now this is where you all unlock your squadron members. You have to do this if you want to continue passing in expert deliveries. This is where the challenge log comes into play. So if you have not done the challenge log yet, go to Limsa Lamenta, the Adventures Guild, right next to the front desk. To the left, you should have up for a challenge quest. Do that to unlock the challenge log. 
you need to complete the challenge log to get your squadron members because you only get three by default. Who you get and what you get for a class is completely randomized. Alright, so the squadrons are now unlocked. So now you come to the left and go through that door. So let's do that now. Alright, so when we're in here, talk to the sergeant. And now, once we have a recruitment, we come to the Lisbon papers. Alright, so now we look at the challenge log here. I'm going to end up doing a couple fates and hopefully that we get a squadron member from this. So I'm going to have to do three fates. I have to get at least a gold. So I'm going to go do that now. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So we just finished the fate challenge log. And as you can see here, we have a new recruit. So let's see what we got. So we got a Lancer. Very well. So you question him. And then you accept. Now, if you have all eight and you get new recruits, then you have to dismiss somebody. All right, so now that we got our four squadron members, we can now train them. Now, you have four more squadron members to get, so you can do your challenge log and continue to get those four more. Having a wide variety of classes can help with your missions. All right, so we first have to send them out on a training mission. So you talk to the squadron sergeant and then you send them out on a squadron mission. All right, so sending them out on missions are gonna cost Grand Company Seals because this is a training session, it costs nothing. So they all start level one and you'll get 7,500 for this city patrol. Now over here, you have your stats. The required stats to 100% the mission. And then the blue one here means that you have reached the required attributes. If it's red, it means you didn't. So each uh, class will have a specific stat they succeed in. Casters and healers will be mental. Physical and tanks will be more physical in your stats and rogues and archers will have more tactical all right so let's send them out on our training mission and this will take one hour all right so i'll see you guys when they come back in an hour real time by the way all right guys so we're back I accidentally forgot to record, so I've already completed my training mission with my squadron. So after you're done with that, you come over here to the regiment board. You will be given three training courses per day, and it will be set every three o'clock p.m. for NA. I don't know what it's like for everybody else, but it will reset at 3 p.m. for us. So we have physical, mental, and tactical, physical, mental, physical, tactical, and then mental and tactical. You have a squadron attributes up to 200. That will increase as we get to higher levels. Then down here we have comprehensive training, which does not increase our attributes, but just increases the experience points. So once you have hit your 2000, uh, 200 out of 200, then you start using your comprehensive training courses. Okay, so because we have one healer, one range, one tank, and then one melee DPS, you want to increase your weakness first. So in this case, Lancers more are on the tactical side, but they're also on the physical side. Conjurers or Arc Arcanists or uh, Thaumaturges are more mental, while Rogues and Archers are more tactical and of course, uh, marauders and gladiators are more physical. So you wanted to increase your weakness more than your strength. All right, so in my case, I have more 
physical and tactical, then I have mental. So, because I've already did a training mission for tactical and mental, I'm going to be increasing physical and mental. These will take an hour of real time, while the training missions or the squadron missions will take 18 hours. So we want to get our squadron members to level 20. Because they will be able to take on the flag mission, which is the mission that you need to do to get more missions. So we have training missions, then we have the intermediate missions, then we have the priority missions. The priority missions are going to be one per week, while the other two will be once a day. Alright, so giving your guys a squadron mission will give you the most experience for your squadron members. So because all of the current attributes are blue, which means we already met the requirements for the mission, our success rate is 100%. If there is two out of the three fulfilled, I think it's like a 50% chance of failure and a 50% chance of succeeding. If it's one out of the three, I think it's like 25% chance of succeeding. So you kind of want to go for the full Monty here. So we're going to send our squadron members on a squadron mission at level one. I will get 7,500 experience points for sending them out. And it'll take 500 Grand Combi Seals. So I have 753. So this will take me about 18 hours to come back. So we're going to send them out. Now, if I had four more members, then I could send them out on a training mission. But because everyone's busy, you can't send anybody out. So in the time that you're waiting, continue doing your challenge log, get four more members, and then send them out on training. All right. So you do this over and over and over again until you get to level 20 and at least one squadron member. All right. So I'm going to flip over to another alt of mine who's already at level 20, and then I'll show you guys what to do next. All right, guys, here we are on my alt. So I want to show you guys something. When you have reached your maximum of attributes in order to increase you're going to have to drain the one that you're not chosen so if you're doing single the other two will get reduced if you're doing double the single one that's not picked is reduced to compensate for it and as you can see here i got all squadrons filled up now i can't change their class just yet until we finish the first priority mission so talk to your sergeant once one member has gotten to level 20, the flag mission Void Scent Elimination will become available. It costs 2,000 Grand Company Seals to send them out, and you get 21,000 experience points to all the members participated. You also will get a Contemporary Warfare Manual, which changes any squadron member to a Gladiator or Marauder of your choosing. There's one for healers, and then one for melee, and then caster, and then I believe range. So you have a choice there. They will cost you Grand Company Seals to buy them at the Quartermaster. So this will take 18 hours to complete. All the current attributes are blue, which means I met the required attributes. If you can't reach them based on what you have, then start leveling them up a little more. But I've already sent them out already. It's going to take another 13 hours and 12 minutes for them to come back. You can't abort the current deployment if you like, but you basically will not get back the Grand Company Seals. So at this point, there's nothing else you can do until everyone is leveled up to level 40. All right. So while you're waiting for them to come back, you send the rest of them that are available on training missions. I don't have any allowances right now because it's not 3 o'clock p.m. yet. So once it becomes 3 o'clock, I'll have three more daily sessions. So then I can send out the remaining four to do training missions while the other ones are doing the squadrons. Just know that the ones that are on the squadron mission do not get the training regimen experience points. So be wary of that. You will get a squadron attribute increase once you have completed their mission. Once you have done the level 20 and then the level 40 flag mission we will get the next rank and then after that you'll be able to go into specific dungeons with your squadron members and you must complete five different 
dungeons to get the captain rank. But we'll get to that point when we get our squadron members to level 40. At least one needs to be at level 40. Alright, so I will see you guys in a couple of days because that's how long it's going to take. Alright guys, so we are finally back. Our squadron is done with their mission. So let's talk to the sergeant. Alright, so we got to level 26 and one of them got to level 24. And we got a book. Alright, so let's complete. Our squadrons are now promoted to rank 2. So now we can do routine missions. Alright, so after all that is all set and done, we now have another list of missions that we can do, called routine. The difference between this and this is mission affinity. Basically what that is, is that your squadron members can sometimes come back with what is called chemistry, which is buffs that you guys can utilize to bring back cool stuff like gill, grand company seals, materia, crystals, MGP, scripts, the like, or you can increase the attributes or the trigger rate of these chemistries. The chemistries are completely randomized. What you get is what you get but you can change them if you find something better. The mission affinities will also be randomized every single week. If the squadron member is tied to the mission affinity, the trigger rate of the chemistry will be 100%, since the chemistry can reach up to, I think, 50%. So you wanna focus on these first, if you can get the current attributes over the required all right, so over here at the regiment board, you view squadron roster, and then you select your squadron member, and then you can confirm the chemistry here. Here is where you can use your manuals to change your squadron's class. You will drop one level when you do so. These books can be gotten through your quartermaster once you get your rank up. Over here is the display orders. These are going to be also unlocked randomly through RNG. We have independent, offensive, defensive, and balanced. So you all start with independent. You either can get a mastery upgrade, which will increase the buffs and reduce the damage, or you'll unlock the offensive, defensive, or balanced. This is for the squadron command missions. The command missions is where you go into dungeons with your squadron. You have to do at least five different dungeons to get a promotion. So the first five. So that's why you need your squadron members to at least level 44. In these dungeons, if you die, you start from the beginning of the dungeon, but you don't lose your progress. Just like, you know, if you're doing it with other party members. You have engage. You have a hotbar that says engage. Disengage, which basically you make your tank pull the enemies or then make your squadron stop attacking the enemies. Then you have your limit break. So I highly recommend doing this if you're a DPS because sometimes the queues can be a little bit hard. So if you're trying to level up a side DPS, you can use your squadron members to do so instead. All right, guys. So we are finally back. This took me about a week or so to get my squadron members to where they need to be to complete the next flagged mission now i've already sent them out yesterday because i kind of want to get this video done already so i'm going to explain once i talk to my sergeant so what i had to do was number one i had to get my mental stat up because i was lacking that so with my physical at 80 my mental at 120 and my tactical at 80 plus my Marauder at level 45, my Bard at level 44, my Conjurer at 44, and then one of my Pugilists at level 33, I was able to hit just above the attributes required to complete my priority mission. Now, I'm gonna to talk to my Sergeant and I'll show you guys exactly what I needed. So we needed the Flag Mission Crystal Recovery. Now, I don't know if the mission's attributes is the same for everybody, 
but this is the next mission you guys will have to do to get your promotion. So here we finally got some chemistries. So what I have for my bard is when a when at or above a duty's recommended level, there is a 20% chance to receive the disciples of land specific materia. When accompany a Makote from my pugilist, there's a 20% chance to receive the disciple of hand specific materia. That's where the mission affinities come into play. If the mission affinity is a bard or archer or a pugilist or a Ra and a Lalafil, those chemistries will hit for 100%. All right, so the flag mission is done. Let me kind of explain what chemistry is. And the squadron is now rank three and it's promoted. Now you can do the priority missions, which is one per week. And they reset every Tuesday. For outstanding efforts in the Adventure Squadron Initiative, Lieutenant Lionheart is hereby promoted to first uh, uh, Serpent Lieutenant, effective immediately. So whatever your grand company is, you'll be first lieutenant. All right. So congratulations. Very well deserved. And I can definitely say that after doing this for three weeks. All right. Now, because I've hit level 44 on at least a couple of my squadron members, I was able to complete the next task, which is doing the different dungeons. By successfully completing command missions at five different locations, you have granted access to a special flag mission. Due to the, uh, to the high difficulty of the mission, however, it is advised that you first improve your squadron members. All right. So now, let's see if I can find it. There it is. Zapper Strike. So this is going to be under Routine. So, I need 370, 355, and 345. Alright guys, so we're finally back. So this took me another week to get done because I had to get... This Pugilist to level 50. Because in order to do the quest, you had to have four level 50 squadron members. So I went through... Brayflox Longstop, Orm Vale, Stone Vigil, and Dismal Darkhold. Because that's how I felt during the whole damn thing. So this finally got to level 50. And they are now doing the Sapper Strike mission. Which is complete, thankfully. So after we finish this, we should get our next rank up. So let's talk to our squadron sergeant. Complete. And level up. Congratulations, Commander. I knew our squadron was up to the task, but there's nothing quite so satisfying as seeing missing successful at the top of a report. Here we get this little cutscene. I hear a word the lieutenant has just re returned from his mission and I wish to speak with our decorated hero in person. These are trying times as, as we well know, but the valor shown by you and your troops is a source of inspiration for the entire company. Taking your ex exemplary service into consideration, we decided that a moment of recognition is long overdue. Amen and hallelujah. For outstanding efforts in the Avenger Squadron initiative, Captain Lionheart is hereby promoted to Serpent Captain. May your deeds be guided by the will of the elements. And we are now Serpent Captain. 
And that is the journey that we have to go on just to get this stupid rank. And 90,000 Grand Combi Seal Cap. And we do get a couple of items added to the Quartermaster. So let's go out and give him a visit. All right, so let's talk to our Quartermaster. So at the bottom here is where the last ranks unlock. So under the material section, at the bottom here, we have the loot boxes from the Grand Company. 3.0 will have a Realm Reborn Heaven's Warden Mount minions, and 4.0 will have Stormblood. These will cost you 20,000 Grand Company seals. We also have manuals for increasing your chance of getting a squadron member. The books will change your squadron member's job. The tonics will help you resurrect your squadron member if they die. And then you have the Aetherite tickets that will take you straight to your Grand Company free of charge. And then you get your emotes. But like I said, you have now a cap of 90,000 Grand Company seals. So the last two ranks are optional. As long as you have the second lieutenant, you're good to go. But the last two are completely up to you. But definitely are worth it. Alright. So a lot of Grand Company seals means a lot of ventures for your retainers. A lot of dark matter for repairing your own gear. And then of course, if you're doing the uh, Heaven's Ward and a Realm Reborn Relic weapons, you can use your Grand Company to get materials that you need for some steps. Alright guys, so that's pretty much going to be it for this video. This took me about a month to complete from start to finish. Hopefully it'll take you a lot less than I did. Alright guys, so that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, and or concerns, which I probably know there will be, please put them in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content and join the first brood. As a reminder, make sure you hit that notification bell next to my subscribe button. It's where you guys never miss an upload. And if you'd like to join my Discord server, hit the world icon on my YouTube banner or go into the About section of my YouTube channel. If you want to support me further, I do have YouTube memberships available for anybody who wants to help me make this a full-time career for me. Both are completely optional. So until next time, may forever walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. And always remember to keep forging ahead. Because you're going to need it.